I'm Rachel McCacken, and I'm the patient safety officer for the Mid-Atlantic States for Kaiser Permanente. And um, we are just now getting our simulation, not center, but simulation program off the ground. So we have a whole, you know, a whole family of Laredal products. Um, in the Mid-Atlantic, so far though, we already have been doing simulation um, in our perinatal units. So we've been doing, we've been using Noel and practicing emergencies and also we're doing the prompt. So it's, I love that simulator. Of all the simulators, I know it's like so basic, but the, the beauty of being able to have a live patient playing mother um, gives a whole realism to a simulation that's really, I think, exciting because you can, um, that's a whole nother person you can play off and get real responses. And um, I've just really enjoyed using the prompt and what, how we use it. We use it for shoulder dystocia drills and um, vacuum delivery and teaching physicians how to place the vacuum correctly on that fetal head, which you think that everybody would know that, but there's, you know, 20 year, you know, ob obstetricians that really never got that knowledge. So it's been really an incredible simulator. I was a pilot site back in 2003. Um, for Kaiser Permanente. At that time I was the labor and delivery manager and um, we were uh, one of the sites that was picked for the perinatal patient safety project. Um, Kaiser Permanente realized we really wanted to make a difference with our um, with our birth injuries. You know, we wanted to decrease the amount that were happening, and it wasn't like they were astronomically astronomical compared to the industry, but as uh, we're such a member-focused organization, we really felt that we needed to do the best job we possibly can to eliminate birth injuries. That's a lofty goal, but at least to decrease them and figure out how we could get to that. So we started on our journey of the perinatal patient safety project and really did a lot of different types of implementation to get um, the perinatal teams working together more. So for instance, we did team training and so we did, we made sure that all members of the team were included in the training. So we had uh, the re uh, receptionists um, along with the neonatal intensive care physician, the NICU nurses, um, all the labor and delivery folks, all the normal players, anesthesia department. So everybody went through this training. And with that, after our first year, we realized we need to do start rehearsing emergencies. So that's pretty much where we sort of got turned on to simulation. And um, I worked with Paul Preston um, in those early days when he was bringing Noel around in his van <laughs> and drop it on the unit and let's, okay, let's crash. Let's crash and burn, what can we do? And so it was really a grassroots effort at Kaiser Permanente and we, and we started small where we could get buy-in and um, the program you know had a lot of stops and starts and but it's just been an infectious program and everybody really supports the perinatal patient safety project um, throughout Kaiser Permanente and um, the reason is is because we really have made a difference in our birth injury rate and we really look to um, the simulation as a big part of that so we did a lot of different things, but I think the simulation was the piece that really sort of coalesces the teams, you know, and makes you realize, wow, when you see yourself on video, oh gosh, I really did not give a good S-bar to the pediatrician when he came into the room. 
you know. So he came in, he didn't know what was going on. And those kind of things you don't see in the heat of the moment or don't understand until you see them and you can debrief and go over it. So 